So, yeah, uh, the reason why it happened, because I'm now, like, if you see from my old page, uh, my mind, my mind was on point. Because who I was following from my old page, they were giving me all the information that I needed financially. But I was still like a rookie. I was still a rookie in emotional intelligence and um, the maturity of my emotions. Because like I'm just now getting into that space. Because I come from the environment where like exposing like basically speaking out about how I'm feeling is deemed weak. Uh, speaking speaking about how I'm feeling, like addressing how I'm feeling is deemed weak. Like, i.e., like me talking like this, is, I sound like a bitch, you feel me? That's the finesse, bro. When, when you see that, they like, oh, you sound like you're bitching. You sound like you're bitching, man up. Um, or you sound soft, like you need, don't express yourself because when a man expresses himself, people don't like to deal with, people don't want to hear or have to hold space for our issues. We're men. Since we are men, we are supposed to be the ones holding space for everybody else. And they dump, they dump their emotions on us. And we're supposed to hold space and let people do that. But when it's our turn, when it's our turn to speak about our feelings and what we're going through, nobody don't care about that. And how they really put us in a box, how they really put us in a box is you're bitching or man up. Or nobody trying to hear that soft ass shit. So what we do is we cage or uh, repress how we're feeling. And me doing that, me doing that, the way that I cope, the way that I cope with how I was feeling was I was burning. I was smoking heavy as fuck, bro. I was smoking heavy, like almost on some every two days, like not every two days, every day, but every two days, every two days, I was buying weed. I was buying weed, like every two days, bro. I was tripping, bro. Because I grew up, I grew up in that environment that expressing myself, you a bitch, you know what I'm saying? You soft if you do that. But what I was supposed to do was express myself because I was being abused at the time, bro. Like, at the time, me being silent, me being silent like that, that was, that was silent cries. I'm being abused, you feel me? I'm being, I'm being neglected, I'm being neglected, I'm being abandoned. This, this is trying to emasculate me and shit. I'm going through crazy ass shit, bro. Like, I'm going through real life experiences. I'm going through, I'm going through real life experiences with these people. And they're acting like, like, I, I have no problems saying what I was doing. But I was doing what I was doing because of them. That's what, that's why like a lot of people, a lot of people don't want to deal with men and our issues and what we are going through because what we be going through is abuse, bro. Like men get abused. It's, it's not always physical. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's rare that you go, especially if you're a man and you know how to protect yourself. The physical abuse is not the thing. It's the, like, mental abuse, the emotional abuse, and even sometimes spiritual abuse. Because I was dealing with females that was casting shit on me. You feel me? I had females casting shit on me. So, like, I was dealing with, I was dealing with some shit, bro. Like, you feel me? I'm dealing with spiritual abuse. I'm dealing with emotional abuse and I'm dealing with mental abuse. Like I'm getting abused and I can't, I cannot express it because if I express it, I'm a bitch. Uh, I'm not a man. So now that give them, that give them the opportunity to like 
lash at you even harder. You feel me? So now instead of expressing myself, I'm just coping with the pain with marijuana, with weed. You know what I'm saying? When what I was supposed to be doing was checking them like this, like telling my story or calling them out. You know what I'm saying? Calling them out, calling them out on their bullshit. You feel me? Basically, like just going head to head with them. But that wasn't that wasn't where I'm from, bro. Where I'm from, or how I grew up. The way that I expressed it is like, you feel me? Damage shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to be damaging shit, bro. You feel what I'm saying? When nah, what I was supposed to do was express what I was going through mentally, emotionally, and spiritually because I was abused in those spaces. I had females casting spells on me, bro. That's real shit. They casting spells on me, bro. They fucking doing shit to me emotionally. You feel me? They fucking having sex. They having sex with people around me, bro. Like, th- this is all abuse. They're having sex with people around me on purpose, bro. They're doing this on purpose. And then mentally, mentally, they pulling up on me, acting like everything is all innocent. That's some abusive ass shit. And I'm like, no, how the fuck did I get around these people? Why the fuck did I even bring them around? So now... I don't even know how to express myself to um, put place boundaries because I'm just now getting into this space at the time. At that time, I'm just now getting into the space of like knowing how to implement boundaries, knowing how to express myself in a way where I don't look soft. Like I'm expressing myself like a man and I don't look soft because they going to trick you into that shit. Like you expressing yourself. They going the first thing they're gonna do is trick the fuck out you because they they do not know how to hold space for a man. They don't know how to be like take in the accountability and the responsibility of why I'm moving the way that I'm moving. They don't know how to take accountability for why and how I'm moving the way I'm moving. Because they're doing things to me. When they're doing things to me, I'm moving a type of way because I I feel some type of way. But I can't say nothing. Well, that's what I thought at the time. What I thought at the time, I couldn't say nothing when I was supposed to be lashing. But the way I was lashing was the way I wasn't supposed to lash out on. You feel what I'm saying? So now I'm moving crazy. I'm feeling fucking crazy. I'm moving crazy. I'm feeling fucking crazy. I'm making poor decisions. I'm making poor ass decisions. I'm fucking doing stupid shit. I'm being fucking self-destructive, but I'm self-sabotaging. You feel me? I'm doing things that cause self-sabotage, which I can take, which I do take accountability because I made a lot of choices. I made the choices. You feel me? I made all them choices. But I just ain't know at the time how to fucking deal with that shit emotionally. So now I'm fucking tripping, bro. I was tripping. I was tripping. These motherfuckers abusing me on some crazy shit. And I'm tripping. I'm outside tripping. So now I feel like I could talk about it because I don't. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know how to deal with everything now emotionally. I know how to deal with everything now spiritually, mentally. So I can express my story and know that hopefully somebody can catch um like because i know some a lot of people you're going through the same thing right now if you open your eyes if you open your eyes and pay attention you're being abused you feel me a lot of people if you open your eyes and pay attention you're being abused by so much people around you you just as a man as a man, as a man, you are not allowed to express yourself like that. They do not allow it because people cannot hold space for us. They don't know how to hold space for men because it's heavy, bro. Like, it's fucking heavy because we're the man. We're supposed to always be strong, smart, have the solutions for the problems, financially stout, 
everything's supposed to be correct around us. So now when we when we are making like when we are going through things, when we're going through things, people don't know how to be like, oh shit, men go through stuff. Like if you pay attention to people, they if a man is expressing themselves, they be like, what? Oh, you went through that? Yeah. Like, what the? F- I'm human, bro. Like, I'm having a human experience. Of course, I went through some crazy shit. And then when you're expressing it, people don't know how to hold space for us. People don't know how to hold space for men. That's why if you notice, there's not a lot of healing men groups, bro. There's not like a lot of groups where men can go into and actually heal or express himself. Because the first thing that's going to happen is stop bitching. That, that's the first thing you're going to hear. If if I go to a group of people and I'm like, oh, I feel some type of way about some shit. Nigga, stop bitching, bro. Soft ass, man. You soft, bro. This man soft. You like, oh, okay. So now that makes the man shut down. And then that's why you find so much men at the bars. They start becoming alcoholics. This is why you find men at the bars becoming alcoholics. Why they are consistently buying marijuana or cocaine or the perks. Why they popping perks so much. Or they're smoking cigarettes. Why they're so addicted to cigarettes. You feel me? This is why you picked up all of these uh habits because you don't know how to connect with how you feel and express what's going on you feel me because you feel some type of way on what's happening around you but you don't know how to express it in a masculine way for people to deal with it you feel me especially for the people who are abusing you 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 need i had to learn how to express what i'm going through in a masculine way so people around me who are trying to abuse me deal with it you feel me deal with that and when they try to be like man up or stop bitching i oh yeah and i keep expressing myself now i'm not gonna shut the fuck up you know what i'm saying because the reason why people want you to shut up because it's so heavy, bro. What men go through is so heavy, bro. And people don't know how to hold space for us, bro. We supposed to be the name. We supposed to be the men holding space and fucking letting people dump all their pain on us and shit. We're supposed to be the ones who uh, always have the solutions for every problem coming through, which is true. Which is true, but hey, bro. This bitch is abusing me. You feel me? Like, bro, this bitch is abusing me. Like, this nigga is talk- abusing me over there. No, no, no. Stop playing with me. You feel me? Stop playing with me, bro. You're fucking abusing me right now. Stop playing with me. And you got to know how to express yourself. But if you do that, you got to deal with them trying to turn around and finesse you with some shit. Stop being a bitch. That, that's how they try to get you, bro. That's how they try to get you, bro. They try to get you with that shit, bro. Like, when when you're being abused, when somebody try to abuse you and you express yourself, the first thing people go start telling you is, man up, stop bitching, you're soft. You're like, hold on. All right, cool. You start punching people and shit. So now the nigga just start tripping. Now the man start tripping. Or the man end up in a bar, the man end up in a bar drinking every day or he starts smoking weed or taking cocaine or smoking cigarettes. Now he's fucking tripping because there's no fucking way he can express himself. Because soon as he was like, hey, like the way you talking to me right now, I feel like you emasculating me. A bitch to turn around and be like, oh, you a bitch. I'm so, you like, hold on, what the fuck? You feel me? Or like a bitch literally is keeping a child away from me, the firstborn child. She fucking keeping the child away from me and then try to finesse it, trying to finesse it with some, oh, I'm trying to keep the child safe. Um, That's the finesse. I want to keep the child safe. I need to keep it safe because you don't look like you're ready to be a man. That's, 
all of that is a finesse. That's abuse, bro. You ain't getting abused out here. And then you, your goofy ass sit down and be like, oh, maybe I'm not ready. Oh, they got you. When you say some stupid ass shit like that, when you like, maybe I'm not ready. Oh, no, you're fucked. Because that's how they get you. Now, when you when you get into that space where you like, man, I don't know. I don't know if I'm kind of ready. Now the abuse, tur- they turn the knob. Now the abuse gets even aggressive. You like, oh, shit. You have to know how to express yourself in a masculine way where they understand that they need to take responsibility and accountability for what the fuck they did for you to react or respond in your manner. That's where they try to finesse you at, bro. That's where they're going to try to finesse you at is you have to express yourself in a masculine way to where the people around you who are acting up take accountability and responsibility for their actions. They do not take accountability and responsibility. They don't take accountability for their actions. They don't do it. They put it on you. And because you're a man, you're supposed to be like, just, you feel me? And just smoke it out. No, 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 no. You're doing some abusive shit. You're being abusive. And because you're being abusive, I'm responding in this way because of your actions. Take accountability for that. You have to do that in a masculine way. Now, if they do not want to take accountability, if they do not want to take accountability for the way they are acting, this when you start applying heavy boundaries on that. This when you start clearing it. You start exiting from their ass, disappear, disappear. You disappear from them. You get the far, get far away from them. Get the fuck away from them. You know what I'm saying? You got to get away from them. Because if they do not want to take accountability for the way that they are acting, bruh, you are in a, you're dealing with somebody who's abusive, bro. They're, they're like prone to abuse. You got to get away from them. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes, sometimes you can be dealing with someone who's doing something abusive. And if you express yourself, you express yourself, they'll be like, oh, shit, my fault. I'm tripping. Ah, right, you got it. You got it. I'm tripping. You got it. I'm tripping. When you express that shit, they'll be like, okay, you got it. You got it. They can take accountability. And then they can change their behavior because that's that's the best apology anyway is changed behavior is the best apology. So they'll change their behavior for however they're chipping out and you can move forward. But if you see that you express yourself and they do not change their behavior, you're dealing with someone who's abusive. Run for your life. Run for your life. Do not, do not think, oh, they, they are like, you know, they be trying to, oh man, you know, I had a hard upbringing, like my shit, oh, I'm trying, I'm just trying to keep him safe. I'm trying to keep him safe and I'm trying to keep him protected. Bitch, you're abusive. You're abusive. That's a fucking, that's a super finesse because they be trying to, oh, I'm trying to keep him safe. I'm trying to keep him safe and protected. But then she's sucking like 10 dicks in front of him and shit. You feel me? You be like, bitch, it's, you're the abuser, bitch. You, that's how they be trying to finesse you, bro. Oh, I'm just trying to keep him safe and protected. You don't look like you're ready. But then sucking like 10 dicks in front of him. I'm not trying to hear none of this shit, bitch. Y'all be lying and stealing rings, bro. I'm not trying to hear shit from a bitch. They be lying and stealing rings. They be doing crazy shit. You feel what I'm saying? So now here you go like, oh, they be trying to finesse you. Talking about you're not ready financially. You're not ready financially. I'm like, here go $100. Take the $100. Well, he needs some shoes. He needs some food. What you want? You want me to pay for his daycare? What you want? When you, 
Like for me, this is abuse. I don't give a fuck. This is abuse. I'm like, man, what the fuck do you need? You want me to pay for his daycare? You need some shoes, some food? Here, here's the money. No, I don't want your money. I need to keep him protected. I'm like, oh, this bitch is abusing me now. Now the bitch is abusive. This is some abusive shit. Because now she's attacking. The motherfuckers be attacking mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. That's a tactic for me to be like, here comes some money, bro. What you need? Some new shoes? Here go, you need what you need me to pay for the daycare, the school? You need some new shoes? You need some food? Here's the money. I have money. I have money. Take the money. When you see them like, no, I don't want your money. I got to keep the kid protected and safe. You like, how the fuck are you keeping them protected and safe when you just suck like 10 dicks in front of him? You fucked his head up, bitch. How the fuck are you keeping them protected? You just suck everybody's slap. You just suck and roll big slab in front of him. You suck big, big, big slab in front of that jet. <laughs> you're fucking abusive. And then you're keeping them away from the father. Y'all bitches be, this is what I'm talking about. When I was first coming into the game, when I was first coming into the game, I didn't know about emotional maturity. I didn't know, oh, when I expressed myself in a masculine way, when I first was like, hey, bro, you abusing me, bro. Take accountability. The shit that I'm fucking doing is because of you. You doing this type of shit, I'm acting out the way that I'm acting out because of you. When I did that, when I did that and it continued to do what it was doing, I was like, oh, no, I'm out of here, bitch. You got me fucked up. That's emotional maturity. That's not running away. That's now emotional maturity. Because if I was emotionally immature, I would have just kept coming and fucking shit up. You feel me? I would have just kept going around, just going around and self-sabotage, self-sabotage, self-sabotage. If I did not gain emotional maturity, I would have just been walking around. I would have just been walking around um, self-sabotage. But because, because I've gained emotional maturity, I expressed myself. I was like, man, I'm reacting and responding the way that I'm doing because look what you're, look what you're doing. Take accountability on what you're doing. Look what you're doing. When I seen that it did not want to take accountability, I'm out of here, bro. I'm fucking clearing it. I'm not about to stay around this shit and try to keep fighting. This shit is abuse, Nick. I'm fucking smoking a whole bunch of weed. I'm fucking running around trying to have sex and shit. I'm fucking acting crazy. I'm going crazy because look what the fuck you're doing. Tama, I'm trying to keep the baby safe. I need to keep him safe. I need to keep him protected. But sucking like a whole bunch of slab, big slab, all around the city and shit. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? You fucking have the baby around a whole bunch of different men and shit. The baby know everybody else's name but his daddy's. That's fucking abusive, bitch. What the fuck are you talking about? You trying to keep the baby safe. How are you fucking him up? You fucking me and him up. That the baby know everybody else's name but his daddy. And then you trying to turn around and say, it's the daddy fault. That shit is crazy. So now you catch men smoking weed, drinking and all this, all this stupid ass shit. Dealing with all these motherfuckers. I got my brother who's a fucking peon, Officer Ricky calling the police on me and shit. I've been dealing with these motherfuckers. My mama don't even know how to love correctly. I'm looking at everybody like, who the fuck y'all think? Who the fuck y'all think y'all finna abuse? Y'all think y'all finna sit here and abuse me? Hell, fuck no. I'm finna check everything. I'm gonna check everything. And then you know what they try to do? Listen, listen now. Do you know what they try to do? It's your fault. This... It's your fault. You see all of that? This is why you need emotional maturity. When you gain emotional maturity, you're able to assess what the fuck is going on and you don't allow your emotions to make you do things 
that that make you self sabotage, bro. Because they're doing abusive shit, bro. They're doing it intentionally. They're doing abusive shit intentionally. It's to hurt you. So the way you finesse it is express yourself. Again, express yourself. And if they do not take accountability for the way that they're acting, clear it, bro. Clear it from their ass. You feel me? Exit from them, bro. Fucking place boundaries. I don't never want to see you again with your ugly. Get away from me. You feel me? Get away from me. Because what they're going to do, what they're going to do is say, it's your fault. They're always going to say, it's your fault. These are abusers, bro. These are people abusing you. A lot of you, you need to wake up. A lot of you, a lot of you, you need to wake up. A lot of you, you need to wake up. You're being abused by these people, bro. You're being fucking abused because they do and say things and then you respond to what they do and say. And then when you respond, however you respond, they act like you're crazy, but you just expressed yourself. That, hey, man, what you are doing is why I responded the way that I responded. If they do not take accountability for that, run for your life. You're dealing with an abuser. Run, run for your life. You're dealing with an abuser. If Because we're humans, you know what I'm saying? So... We going we gonna to do and say some stupid ass shit from here and there. You know what I mean? We're humans. We going to do and say some stupid ass shit here and there. So when, when say if I do some stupid ass shit to you, if and you respond to it, and then you tell me, how, however you respond to it, boom, you respond to it, bum. And then I'm like, damn, why the fuck you just did that? Bum, 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 bum. I'm like, why the fuck were you doing? Bum, 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 bum. And then you tell me, yo, you did this, this, and that. That's why I responded like that. I'm the type of person like, oh, yeah, I'm fucking tripping. My fault, bro. Let me change my behavior. I'm not an abuser. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a fucking abuser. I just be tripping out sometimes. You feel me? So if I do some stupid ass shit to you, I done something to you that's stupid. And you respond to whatever I did that's stupid. And then you tell me, you tell me, yo, what you did to me, that was crazy as fuck. Take accountability for that, man. That's why I did that to you. I'm finna be like, damn, bro. You right. I'm fucking tripping. And I'm gonna change my behavior. I'm not gonna fucking act like, nah, 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 nigga, nah, nah. Oh, nah, there's something wrong with you. And try to run away from taking accountability. What kind of goofy ass shit is that? That's how you'll know if I'm an abuser. That'll let you know I'm an abuser if you fucking just told me why you responded the way you responded from that stupid ass shit that I did to you. And then I try to run away from it. Bitch, run for your life from me. If I'm like that, you better run for your life for me. I'm an abuser. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm an abuser if I do some stupid ass shit like that to you. Run for your life. But you ain't got to run for your life for me because I'm finna be like. I'm, I'm going to be like. Damn, I'm fucking tripping with you right now. I'm tripping. Man, I'm sorry, bro. And the best apology is changed behavior. I'm going to change my behavior immediately because I'm not an abuser. That shit be weird as fuck. But I be seeing that type of shit and I be like, oh, hell no. When I see that type of shit, I be like, oh, hell no. I'm out of here. You feel me? Don't care what you say. Don't care how you feel. The way that I'm responding right now is because you keep doing some stupid ass shit. I'm out. I'm out. You know what I mean?
Mm-mm. Oh, look. So, look. I hope this message get to somebody because I'm going to post this one. This one, I'm going to post this one because this one is very important because they got me fucked up. And I'm going to go outside because I'm hungry and I need to go handle something. And I'm dealing with these crazy ass motherfuckers um, trying to abuse me. They be going in and out of their little abuse tactics and I'm throwing rocks at they stupid ass. And then when I throw rocks at them and shit, they be trying to act like I'm doing too much when no, you're going back to your little abusive ways and I don't play that. I don't play that. <laughs>